available, now must automate. So there's a couple roads we can go down here. Uh, I'd like to go to, if, if you're not automated today and so many shops, especially in vessels, not to pick on the vessel industry, there are so many shops that I've been across the country who are still blacksmithing vessels. They keep doing it the same old way, they're beating them together. How does a shop that's not automating yet, like MIG is automation for them, how do you get them to start? That's a big elephant to eat. And how many robots have wound up in a freaking corner collecting dust because they're like, oh, I can't figure it out, so put it over there. It, it, for us, that was a big challenge. You know, we can't get the employees, so we have no choice but to look at some way to make the to meet the demand of a volume of work, and and basically, you have to change the culture of your people. That was my worst deal of all this the issues that we've done on, it, like bought a laser. That laser would help us cut back on shears and our our, our saws. We're trying to reduce, and I hate to say that we're reducing the number of people. We can't get the people, so we're using the the, the equipment, the KTIGs. To, to fill in with the people we can't get. And it's, it's working for us. For example, in my pre-processing on just vessels before KTIG, I had 12, three shifts running four guys on each shift. Currently, after we've got this KTIG, for, we've had it five years, I think, now, and we have seven units in, in, in our organization, and we're down to three people runs all of our pre-processing for building all of our shells and cylinders, and that's, and what the, our main welder's 20 years old. We've got two key guys that fit everything up, and we've got a young guy that does all the actual welding once we get it programmed in. And that's allowed us to reduce that amount of people. So that's a big, what we had to do. How, where do you see, you know, how, how do you see companies, because you are all over the country, how do they bite the elephant, take the first bite to get into automation? Well, I think, like, there's a couple things that are going to happen. There's... I mean, you can go in and show somebody the solution, and if they don't want to change or they, don't, they haven't set their company culture up to change, they're going out of business, like plain and simple. If you're not willing to make a change, this automation is the, it's light years beyond this antiquated welding processes. And if you're like, well, I'm just going to pretend it's not happening, well, you know, a shop full of very smart welders with lasers and CNC press brakes and you know, advanced automation with less people is going to have shorter turnaround time and better quality and less overhead than you are beating things together. So, you know, if, if it's like either they're going to jump on the train or they're not going to jump on the train. So, I mean, I, I, I used to have a lot of sympathy for shops like that and, and really tried really hard to convince people. And now I focus on working with people that want to make a change. Like, that's a great place to start because their company's already in this mindset that, hey, we, we understand that we're not necessarily doing things the right way, but we need to make a change. And if the owners and the shop foreman and the welders aren't identifying, actively identifying that, it could be because they're feeling the pain of losing business. Um, it could just be because they're like, hey, we really need to advance and this is just our culture and we, should, we want the latest, next, greatest thing. Those are great places to start, but like, there's a lot of companies that we go in and we try and show them everything. I mean, and it's a blatantly obvious, like 40, 50% reduction in well time. And they're just like, yeah, well, we really like flux core. We really like doing this. Or Tim's been here for 26 years and he was a nuclear welder. So we're just gonna listen to Tim. And apparently you don't know what you're talking about.